Hey everyone, Seth Garrett here with Garrett Motorized Bikes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you all what I got today. got the uh, YD100 or Firestorm 100 uh, in today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dive down into it, show you all, do a little, uh, I guess, unpacking, you know, go through it, unboxing. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Uh, Here's the uh, when it first comes in in the box. Uh, that's okay. That stands for engine JL Zeta 100 standard motor kit. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this open. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to tape with one hand and open the box. Okay, sprockets on top. Uh, giant sprocket that came with it. That's all they had, I remember. Uh, hey, that's nice. Ten dollars off your next order. I'll use that. Oh, uh, by the way, this is not. Uh, this is unbiased. This is you know I'm not endorsed by anyone. Um, I'd like to be, but, uh, yeah, this is just what it all came with, uh, or not really, but that's just something they sent with it, pretty cool, pretty cool, you don't find that everywhere else, I'm guessing this is probably the tank, Let's see, is it tank? If so, it's a really good package. Yep, it's the tank. With all the hardware, let's see. Yep, all the hardware. Nice packaging, nice packaging. Sweet. Let's see what the tank looks like. One second. Okay, so the length, the tank looks pretty good. Uh, the welds look solid. Doesn't look like there's any pinholes. Uh, looks pretty good. The uh, seam is pretty good looks to be sealed looks like it'll hold uh, let's go ahead and dive down in one of these other boxes that feels like the motor First off, we got uh, on top. Keep going down to the down on top. Okay, so we got this cover, chain cover. You got your CDI, upgraded CDI, with all your mounting. Uh, Upgraded boot, looks like. Upgraded wire. I don't know if this is the upgraded uh, CDI itself, but looks like upgraded boot. 415 chain. 
There's the uh, master link. It's connected. Awesome. Okay, let's see what type of exhaust we have here. This is one thing I was wondering because bike berries was a little different. Okay, that's pretty good size and lint. I mean, pretty normal standard. Uh, looks to be 40 mil. I guess that's 40 millimeter. Uh, width between chrome. Looks looks good. I like that one better. No burrs on the inside. I don't hear anything rattling around. Okay. Oh, I like this. Okay. Clutch cable. Or clutch uh, lever. Nice clutch lever. Uh, and it's got a, a cool lock on it. Oh, wow. I like that lock. Quick, quick uh, disengage. Oh, that's cool. Must be a cable. Huh. Yep, that's for the uh, clutch clutch cable. Pretty pretty neat. Package pretty neatly. Okay, so we got the fuel valve, uh, or the pet cot, whatever you want to call it. Um, got a um, spark plug. Oh, got extra uh, U bolts. Okay, for mounting different you know, bracket. Okay, we've all seen this. We know what this is. Oh, I like it. Okay, sweet. Yes. Yes. They've got uh, and at an angle the. The tensioner and the four bolt uh, tensioner. I like this. This is great. Keeps uh keeps it locked on to the side of you know. Basically keeps the four bolt ones. They lock in better. They don't like to turn up too much. Uh, and regular fuel filter. Not bad. Not bad. Looks like a pretty pretty decent fuel filter actually too. Okay, we're gonna have to go down to the motor. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. That the the box kinda, you know, whatever, but that that's probably just because how they had to get it in there. The stud and stuff, maybe. Okay, we got there we go. That's one of the things I was wondering. Where's the gas line? Where's the carburetor? Where's all that? Okay. It was in here with the motor. Um, got these style. Here, let's go ahead and open this up. Before we get directly into the motor. Ah, watch your way. One second, guys. One second. Just wants to be pulled out. Okay, I like these. That uh, that's pretty good. That's not gonna like. It's not gonna let it get too hot. Oh, that's pretty actually. Mm -hmm. This car is really shiny. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I guess it's you'd say this is upgraded because of how the air comes in to these, but they're. I mean the same, the same carburetor is like let's say this uh, from one of my other bikes. This one says speed directly on it. This one's the one that uh, has Chinese you know markings on it but uh, I had it on my other motor, one just like this and I loved it. Worked really good, worked really well. I don't really see any need for upgrading these carbs as long as they, they, they you know, tune right, you can you can pretty get just about whatever you need out of it, you know, that carb. I mean I'm not gonna say that you can't and that you wouldn't, but 
want to get a, a better card, upgraded card, but it's good enough for me. That's pretty cool. Gas line. It's a little longer than what I've what I have gotten before. It's about about the same though as what you usually get in these kits. Uh, right. Yeah, that's gonna be kinda hard to pull in that spring for the clutch. Clutch spring. Alright, yep. Yeah. Traditional, you know. Regular handles. Alright, let's go ahead and pull the motor out. Oh, yeah. That's pretty heavy, actually. Good for this motor. Top end, at least. 25 pounds. That's what the whole box was, the whole kit. 25 pounds. Okay. Let's see. First, uh, first thoughts. Uh, looks pretty cool, I guess. Firestorm Zeta 100. Single piece, uh, cylinder and head combo. Well, that's for me. That's untested. I've never had that. 40 millimeter intake. Uh, port, 40 millimeter exhaust port, that's pretty good. Okay, I see piston rings in there, that's, should be towards the back, let's see, yep. nice, nice, yeah, with all the, um, you know, grade 8 hardware, I like it, actually. First impressions, I like it. Really like it. Looks good. It's nice and tight. That'll seal off pretty good once I get some sealer in there. Yeah. Everything looks greased. I see grease grease on it on just from the outside bolts. So I feel grease on the exhaust. The ports don't look too too bad. I mean, there there's room for an improvement there, but you know you can't be too picky with a stock motor. I'm gonna go through that and I'm gonna do all that myself. I can't see this port. I'll have to take this off. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this this off first to see the port I want to see this side of the port the intake side pretty tight good sign actually that's going to seal up pretty good Oh yeah, that was sealed. We're gonna get no vacuum leaks there. Like that that one that's pretty decent first impressions on the ports they look pretty good actually really smooth really smooth really surprising all right let me go ahead and pull the head off or pull the hole cylinder piece off, check the okay. 
Okay. Torques about right. Kind of torqued a little higher than I would expect, but pretty good. No, that's about right. That one was good. Yeah, overall, they were torqued a little tight, but within, within spec, I guess. You're only supposed to torque these like 12 pounds. Nice and smooth. Okay, it's pointed towards the exhaust. That's a good sign. Really good sign. The the head's kind of pitted already. Pre pitted. I don't know if you can see with the camera, but there's some pre pre pitting going on there. We'll do what that is. Casting on the inside, it's kind of rough, eh? Kind of rough, it's never been ran, so, but it has been grease. Port edges feel smooth. Nothing that will grab onto your, your rings. Doesn't look like the like it would hit on the top. I think that just might be from packaging or something, you know. Before it was in here, obviously. I never they never ran this as a brand new. Throw this back on the bike off camera. Thank <laughs> you.